What's up everyone, it's your boy Normbrad89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video we are going to talk about my most anticipated films for the year of 2024. Yes, we are in a new year, 2024, and I got a list of 10 films here, all different kinds of variety and stuff like that, mostly horror. There's a lot of horror on here, I must admit, that's my favorite, So, but we're talking about today 10 films that are coming out this year that I'm very excited for, so let's discuss. Roll it! And this list is in no particular order or anything like that. These are just a, it's just a list of 10 films. I didn't like try to rank them or anything like that. So we're just going to kind of rattle through these. And some of them are based off the trailer or either the concept or that I like the director or something like that. Or it's a sequel to a, you know, a franchise that I really adore. So that's why I want to see it. You know what I mean? So that that's why they're a bunch of different ones on this list so let's discuss first off right off the bat this actually if this was a ranking this probably would be my number one this is the one i'm most excited for this year and this first one is going to be maxine which is going to be the third film in the ty west x trilogy that he started and for a24 and man me being a huge huge ty west fan that's why i'm very excited for this and like i said it's the third film in his trilogy for x and pearl and i'm assuming maxine's going to be just as good or better than both of those so that's why i'm really excited this is probably going to go down as one of the greatest horror trilogies of all time so i'm very very excited and anticipating this third film and next up we have the first omen which if you were to tell me about this just based off the idea or concept i would have been like nah i'm not really that interested or anything like that i'm not the biggest biggest fan of the omen i do like that first film and and the remake and stuff like that but i'm not the hugest fan of them so i wasn't really sold on the idea but this one was the trailer the trailer sold me on it it's got a really intriguing idea i like the way it's going down it's creepy the trailer plays backwards which is kind of a cool little like you know tidbit thing that i like that they threw in there for style so yeah the first omen is one like i said based off that trailer has me more intrigued now and anticipating this movie for 2024. Next up, we have Beetlejuice 2, which is going to be starring Michael Keaton and Jenna Ortega. And man, this one I'm very much excited for because Beetlejuice is one that I hold close near dear to my heart. Like even my guest bathroom is Beetlejuice themed. Like it's totally painted Beetlejuice. We got Beetlejuice puzzle posters in there and all kinds of stuff. Pictures of, you know, Lydia and all them. They're all in there, Beetlejuice bathroom. So I'm very much excited for this. And I think Michael Keaton just he's kind of that one of those actors that ages like fine wine and a lot of the stuff he's been doing recently he's still just slamming it out of the park and Jenna Ortega is the new name in the horror community and like I very much guaranteeing you that Beetlejuice 2 is going to be a lot of fun will it be better than the first one I don't know it depends on what route they kind of take but Beetlejuice 2 it seems like they're going to go with more of a Kind of like the TV series. If you've seen the animated TV series, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more like that than it was the first movie. Next up, we have Terrifier 3. We have a lot of sequels on this list. There's a lot of sequels coming out this year. Terrifier 3, yes. And this one, Damien Leon has been teasing. It's going to be a holiday horror film, a Christmas-themed holiday horror film, but it's coming out in October. It has art in it, and he promised that we're going to go back to kind of that original kind of gritty grindhousey feel of the first terrifier which i don't know i'm kind of mixed feelings on that because i really do like terrifier 2 a lot better than the first one but i think damian leon like he's gonna knock it out of the park again because i love that it's gonna be a christmas themed horror film that has me very intrigued and art is the new slasher icon that is just gonna cementing his place on the mountain of iconic slashers with every entry that they pop out for this franchise. I hope they don't try to run it into the ground too hard. Like I hope they go with either Terrifier 3 is the last one or maybe they do a fourth one, but I hope they don't go any further than that because I feel like if they do, they're gonna kind of run art into the ground. Next up, we have Alien Romulus. And this one I'm excited for because it takes place in the Alien franchise. I'm a huge fan of that franchise. It's one of my favorite sci-fi horror franchises and the fact that this one is slated to come out in August and I believe it's supposed to come out on August 16th which is my birthday so it's most likely Alien Romulus will be my birthday movie if they like so that's what it's looking like because yeah it says August 16th and man I'm excited for it like I said because it takes place in that franchise it's going to be an August movie and it's sci-fi horror as well so that's another uh, subgenre of horror that's very high up on my list so there's a lot of things to love about Alien Romulus plus I want to see where they take this because 
they kind of left us off at a weird place after Covenant. I really like Covenant, and I like Prometheus. I know a lot of people kind of strayed away from that, didn't enjoy those ones, but I'm a huge fan of a lot of the Alien films. There's really only like one or two that I don't like, and Prometheus was right on my alley, and Alien Covenant was almost just as good for me, so I'm very excited for Romulus. Next up, we have Dune Part 2, and man, we've been waiting for this. This was slated, I think, to come out last year, but it got backed up to this year because of the whole writer strike and everything in Dune Part 2. We've been waiting because I want to see how they're going to cap this off, because my least favorite thing about Dune Part 1 was that it didn't feel like a complete story. Now, I think when Dune Part 2 comes out, it's going to seem like you just watch them as one big movie event. You know what I mean? They're going to be together, and I hope they stick the landing. I was there for it. I love Timothy Chalamet and like Zendaya. I actually liked her in this movie, Like so that's, that's a rarity for me. Jason Momoa, all those side characters were fun. So I'm very much excited to see where they're going to take us in Dune Part 2 because the world building was just absolutely fantastic by Denis Villeneuve. Next up, we have Deadpool 3. Yes, another sequel on here. And this one I'm excited for because I want to see how they're going to involve the mutants into this new MCU universe. I'm not really jiving with a lot of the projects that they've been putting out recently for the MCU, but I'm very much a huge fan of the X-Men the mutants. I really did like a lot of the movies they put out with 20th Century Fox, so I'm just more curious, not as more anticipated and excited. Like Deadpool 3, it's not the same excitement as like Maxine or Beetlejuice 2. This one's more of a, you know, I want to see where they're going to take it, you know what I mean? I'm more like curious as to how they're going to involve the mutants and if this is going to be a banger because Deadpool 3, like to me, if they don't knock this one out of the park, my total interest in the Marvel Universe is just going to go downhill. Next up, we have Furiosa, uh, Mad Max Saga, and this one I discussed on the with Steve on the Voices from Mausoleum podcast. We did an episode of the Coffee Crypt, so we discussed this one a little bit already. Please go check out that episode. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, Furiosa, a Mad Max Saga, I'm all there for it because a Mad Max the franchise is one of those franchises that I think they're all hits. I gave a, po I gave a positive rating to every single one of those movies, so this this is a franchise that doesn't miss for me, and I'm excited because this is a prequel story. Anya Taylor-Joy is just a badass actress, and to see her play Furiosa, I think we're going to be in for some exciting stuff. It, the trailer already does look really good. It looks like there's going to be a little bit more CGI than in some of the other previous Mad Max films, so I really hope they don't go super CGI heavy because some of the best things about the Mad Max films and the franchise is that a lot of that is all practical effects, like 80% of those movies movies complete all practical effects not a lot of special effects so but i'm very interested in to see where they go with furiosa and this might be the start of having more films involved in the universe that we don't necessarily have to have max in this next one is another one that's just fully based on the trailer, kind of like the first Omen. This is Bob Marley, One Love, which is a new biopic that's coming out, I believe, in February, like February 14th. I think it's supposed to be a Valentine's weekend uh, kind of event movie. And this one was just based off the trailer. Like, I really had no interest or had no idea this film was even coming out. And then I saw the trailer for One Love, and I was like, damn, like, they... It actually gave me like a little bit of goosebumps, like I'm kind of getting goosebumps and my hairs are standing on the end right now because it looks that interesting. And I was like, damn, I kind of want to see this. So yeah, that one was just one based off the trailer, giving me those goosebumps and like the actors and stuff. It just looks really cool. So I'm excited to see it. And I don't know too much about Bob Marley, like I'm not well versed in his life, so that's going to be another exciting thing for me is I'm going to learn so much more while when watching this movie because of it. And now, last but not least, because there's a lot of movies coming out this year because a lot got backed up from the previous year in 2023 because of that writer strike and actor strike and everything. But for me, this number 10 movie is going to be Ghostbuster, The Frozen Empire. And man, for me, I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbusters. I like Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and I really liked those Afterlife. I thought it was fantastic and everything. Not too big on the like the all-female cast one. That one was kind of, I was kind of loosey-goosey with that one. I have a soft spot for that one for some specific reasons, but not really one I return to often. But Frozen Empire looks like it's going to be something very cool, man. Like I think they're taking this Ghostbusters franchise into 
this more interesting kind of I know it's going to be a course CGI heavy but more interesting territory with these monumental ghosts and these really big cataclysmic events and I like the characters that they introduced in Afterlife so I'm hoping that they continue with these cast members and they keep it going and breathe life into this franchise because I think Ghostbusters is amazing it's so good that we're getting more films of these because it's introducing new fans to this franchise and then they can go back and watch those OG ones with their with their parents or their grandparents parents and it's it's going to be a lot of fun so yeah ghostbusters frozen empire count me in i'm gonna be there but like i said these are just my 10 movies that i'm mostly excited for and anticipating for this year that means i would love to hear from all of you down below in the comment section share your list of some of the films that you are waiting for and anticipating that are coming out this year i would love to discuss with you down below be sure to like this video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i drop a video but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.